the resurrection of Jesus is supposed to lead to your resurrection. Jesus came and gave his life. Jesus came back to life. And Jesus can give you life. You see, the Bible says that until Jesus gives you life, you're dead. You may be feeling that, and you may be very aware of that in your own life. You may be sick of your life. You may be looking for something more, higher, um, greater than what you are and what you have. The answer is in Jesus. The answer is in the empty tomb. Because if you go to the empty tomb, there your old life can be buried with Jesus, and you can emerge with Jesus resurrected as a brand new person. The Bible calls this the new birth. And every person needs a new birth in order to be saved. And you get that new birth by looking to Jesus and putting your faith in him, trusting in him, that he died for your sins and that he came back from the grave, conquering sin, conquering death, and able to be the one to give life. You might, however, be the kind of person who doesn't think that you need Jesus. Your life is great. You're happy. You feel no need. And I want to say two things to you. First of all, Jesus is the treasure that makes all other treasures trash in comparison to him. Whatever you love in your life that brings you happiness and contentment and peace pales in comparison to what life with Jesus is like. The second thing I would say is that you're greatly deceived because if you never sense your need for a savior and if you never sense something deep in your heart that is missing, you're going to miss the opportunity for salvation because while you may think that your life is good, God says that no one is good. No one is good. Jesus said only God is good. Every one of us has sin. You need to go to Jesus that he would forgive you for your sins and give you brand new life. So the purpose of this sermon today and the purpose of remembering the resurrection of Jesus is to realize that Jesus gives life, and only Jesus gives life. And we want to invite you to him today. We want to invite you into a relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. God came to us through Jesus Christ, his son. And the only way to God is through his son, Jesus Christ. If today you would like to receive salvation, and today you would like the forgiveness of your sins, and to be received by God, then today receive Jesus Christ. And I want to pray. If this prayer is what's going on in your heart and the things that I'm saying are things that you want, then pray along as I pray this prayer. The prayer itself doesn't do anything. It's what's inside your heart. And if these words express what's in your heart, then today it's real for you. Would you bow your head with me? Heavenly Father, I know that my sins have separated me from you and that I can do nothing about my sins. I know that I am under condemnation and justly so because of all my sins. But God, today I want to be free from my sins and be forgiven. And I look to Jesus and receive him. I put my trust in him that my sins would be blotted out. I know that he died on the cross for my sins. And I know that you raised him up from the grave because you accepted his death payment for my sins. And so I put my trust in him. I look to him, the one who shed his blood for me and the one who came back from the grave. God, would you receive me today as I receive Jesus Christ? Forgive me all my sins. Make me a new person. And God, from here on out, teach me to live for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If that was you, then I want to encourage you, I want to support you, and I want to love on you as a new member of the family of God. Reach out to us through our contact information here at the YouTube channel and at our website, efcspringlake.org. I would love to talk to you and help you along 
in your new faith in Jesus Christ. Until the Lord Jesus Christ returns, Maranatha, and grace be with you. Amen.